So I got this new mold and it's pretty big. I really wasn't sure how to do this one. One of the first things I thought to do was maybe do the entire thing white and then cover it with powder. But I changed my mind and decided to use colored resin. And I can't tell if I like that idea or not, or at least how it came out, because the colored resin started to bleed, as you see here. Well, not the worst, it's not the best either. And I planned on doing the fox with the black to begin with, but you saw that the orange had kind of leaked into the white, so I tried to cover that up. This um, white that I used over it is actually two-toned, so in some angles it looks blue, some angles it looks white, I thought that would look neat for the snow. This mold is pretty big, and it's definitely not a pendant. I think this is supposed to be like a Christmas tree decoration. A little early for Christmas, but it looks so cool I couldn't help myself but try it. I think this mold is going to take me a few tries to figure out how to use it right. So I've seen a couple of people comment that they've seen my TikToks and resin TikTok compilations. And I want to know which ones, because I can't find them. And I go and check the most recently made resin TikTok compilations I can find on YouTube every now and then just to see. But I think because of the way I do my audio, I don't get put in those. At what point have I finally made it enough to end up in those? I'm at 400,000 followers, which is, well, 400,000 more than I thought I'd ever get. Because the original intention of this account was to post videos to help get over my anxiety with the idea in mind no one would see it, so it's not that scary. Y'all ruined that. But now that I'm here, I was like, I want to be in the compilations. I want to feel popular. Alright, so here's some more lesbian flag things. I did change the orange color a little bit. I added some white to it to make it a little paler, but... I still can't really tell the difference. I'll be putting these up on my shop really soon after posting the video. And I'll also be shipping stuff out tonight, so if you make an order before 10pm, 9pm, somewhere around that time, it will be shipped out tonight. I tend to price these particular types of pieces at about $15, and then there's $5 shipping. When it comes to the shipping, you're only paying for the label. Nothing else, Just that's just the price of the shipping label. But I put new stuff up on my shop all the time, so check it out. Mercari does let you give me a counter offer to the price, but I'll normally only take a lower price if it's something that has been sitting around for a while. So if it's been sitting around and I've had it for a while, I'll sometimes accept a lower price. So I found the next thing I'm gonna throw my money at once I have money again. It was originally looking up how to make handmade soaps. And then I was like, wow, that is a little too much for me. But I stumbled upon something else, and it's surprisingly easy. I just really like smelly things, that's why I like the soaps. And then I discovered I could make my own perfume and perfume oils. Then it also hit me that, like, I can just do things now. I have money of my own, or at least I will eventually. I don't have any right now, I spent it all in storage supplies. Like, I could just pick up this new activity and no one's gonna stop me because I'm an adult and I can just do things. I would have never been allowed to do things like resin or even just like the perfume making I want to try. My parents never let me. I wasn't really allowed to do any crafts at all. Because my hands are bad and I have bad motor skills. The reason for really down to it, you'll just never be that good so you can't do it. Alright, so I'm doing my first rainbow pride flag piece in a while. I honestly keep just not doing it for the stupidest reason. I just don't like using green. Or at least that really bright green. The green never did anything to me. It just for some reason I see green and it just I just feel stress. But I'm working on getting over my discrimination against the color green. There's also six colors in this flag, so it's a little bit hard to fit it into the smaller pieces because I'm just honestly terrible at guessing how much of a color I should use. I always go overkill or something. So I use this bigger mold. I just, this mold can be annoying because I have to use a chain to get this thing on a cord. So I wrap a chain through that little hole because there's no way I can fit a jump ring in there or at least not the ones I have. And the other things that are normally used for that, I just can't seem to figure out. And the silver chain I have is very strong, but it also means I have to fight to cut the dang thing. Hey y'all, this is a heads up for when you're trying to message me. There have been several occasions where I go to respond to someone who's sent me a DM and I can't because of their privacy settings. So y'all might want to check your privacy settings because you can send me messages even if 
you, I can't respond to them because of the way you've set your privacy settings. So if you have it set to like only friends can DM you or no one can, it'll still let you DM people, but it will not let them respond. So yeah, just double check that. Also, if you notice some videos are taken down, I've had to start taking down some videos as soon as they find that toxic side of TikTok, so it just doesn't get bad. Once I notice a stream of negativity coming in from one video, I'm just taking it down. So like you'll notice an LGBT themed video had to go down the other day. But yeah. I got a DM from someone earlier today. And they had talked about how they do know of other accounts of people who aren't neurotypical on this app. But they really only talk about it in the way of education. And that they shy away from talking about it just as a regular person instead of as a teacher. And they liked my account because I do just talk about it as a regular person. And I think that's because if you're trying to educate, you can't make it seem like you want pity. And because normal people seem to consider anything that mentions disability to mean I want pity, unless it's in an educational sense, because as I've experienced, people really don't like to hear about it casually. Because they get uncomfortable. Or they assume there's a second agenda behind it. I guess neurodivergence and disability haven't been normalized that much after all, if you can't talk about it without people assuming you want pity or have a second agenda. As I've said in the past, there's a wildly different response to my videos from, quote, normal people and other disabled and neurodivergent. I'm gonna use this video to rant about a particular kind of person. Anyone else ever lived with that kind of person that will, like, bathe once every two weeks or less, but every time they do get a bath, they absolutely trash the bathroom? Like, I just walked into the bathroom after one of those people did, and... The whole floor was soaked. Somehow even all the counters were soaked. And there was this weird brown stuff on the wall of the shower area. The drain was clogged. And they even went through and dug out the soap I buy with my own money. And used that. And there's not much of it left. I mean, I guess they needed to use that much. But couldn't they have just used the normal soap? Not the stuff I buy myself? You stole my why. Why can't you clean up after yourself at least? I've lived with two people like this, and they get so mad if you ask them just to clean up after them. It kind of makes me feel better when I see other small businesses getting the same weird mobs of angry people I get. It's like, thank God I'm not the only one. That also just makes me shake my head. Since I had been looking at making lotion bars, lip gloss, perfumes, I had been looking at other TikTokers who do stuff similar. And I've seen several lip gloss makers get so many Dollar Tree comments. And then I go look at these lip gloss makers' prices, and they're like $2, $4. And they still have people complaining about their prices being too high. And it gets to the point where it's just kind of like, I think these people could sell them at Dollar Tree prices, and people would still think it's too expensive. But I also gotta say something about the packing I see other people doing. It's like so fancy and elaborate. Where do you get the stamina and patience for that? I pack my stuff really simple and I'll get worn out. Props to y'all who do- I woke up with a bit of a fever today. I think I caught something a few days ago and it's just been building up to this. I'm having some trouble breathing, but like anything will screw up my breathing. I've always had some issues with just breathing in general. <laughs> Like, I remember in school, in, like, PE class, they'd have us do the running, and you could hear me wheezing so bad. But I went into the doctor's at one point to get tested for asthma, said I didn't have it, and so the doctor's just kind of like, well, that's weird, oh well. Anyone else with a lot of chronic issues has probably experienced where a doctor just, they do one test, they don't know how to do anything past that, so they just kind of ignore the issue. Another example is I haven't been able to move my toes since I was like 17 and I tell doctors and they're just like, well, that doesn't seem like anything I know and they'll ignore it. I've brought it up every time I go. They're just kind of like, huh. They're like, well, that's not normal. Then don't do anything. One of those weird things that doesn't cause enough. In I am here to inform you if you are offended by pentagrams because you refuse to do research on their actual meaning, then you are in the very wrong place. I was raised on paganism. There are pentagrams all over my house. I also do witchcraft in my house. We have an entire room dedicated to spell work in my house. Here, we don't care what religion you are, but if you start disrespecting someone else's, go. If you are intolerant to other beliefs or religions, leave. Because you've apparently found yourself in a place you do not belong. Repeat. 
I do witchcraft. I was raised on paganism. I was never once raised on Christianity. That just wasn't in my house. When I was younger, I was often taken to rituals for the pagan holidays or any other type thing. I took part in activities with a coven. If this offends you, you, you need to go somewhere else. You just This is not the place for you. There's other places for you. Go find them.